Yeah, hey there, uh, fellow YouTubers. Here's your buddy, uh, retro old school. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I got a sore throat here. Could be a thyroid problem, but uh, we'll see what the test results say. Um, yeah, this this beauty, this beautiful bus. Oh my god! You know, <clears throat> this drawing. It represents a part of my life where, hey, you know what, sometimes you wish certain things could last forever, you know. Uh, these, you know, these old gas-powered uh, conventional school buses and, uh, of course, uh, you know, the GM New Look Transit buses and the Classics too, which, you know, almost all gone. Well, here where I live, in Montreal, anyway, they are gone. And, uh, yeah, I drew this not just because I've always loved, uh, you know, all types of buses, uh, but I love old, I love school buses, but specifically old school buses. And, um, yeah, this 77 Ford, I did this not just because I always like these as buses or, you know, trucks that have the same front end here. The same front, I mean, exactly right there, for those of you who don't have a clue what I'm talking about. And, uh, yeah, this bus here, this is... The first bus I took to go to school when I was five years old. And man, we're going back to, I figure about 80, 81, something like that. Uh, this is in Chamonix Laval on Valier Street. And um, so the way I, I swung it was that I had to go on Google Street View to check it out a few times, the whole, you know, where the old house was, the pink one. The pink one you see there, you know, and memorize it because, well, I didn't have a digital camera at that time, and I drew this, by the way, um, well, several months ago. And um, and not only that, the bus. Well, I had a beautiful eight by twelve photo I had blown up of a GMC. Uh, this is either a Carpenter or, or a Thomas school bus, and you know it is because Bluebirds always had a a flat face. Uh, uh, windshield whereas these ones the also the you know the the front windshield was angled with the door there and the door the windows were smaller and uh, let me show you that right here because this is one of the things even as a kid man going to grade school I remember looking at these a lot of times in that angle that beautiful angle of the window with the, the front doors I mean shit man this is a fucking era it's never gonna come back it seems you know and people didn't even know how good they had it I think back then or they did or maybe they didn't just appreciate it enough you know and this was gas-powered, you know? Not diesel. I mean, I like diesels, but I mean, a gas-powered heavy truck or, or a bus, it's just, there's nothing better. You know, with that manual tranny there. And then I would see this go by. And... Anyway, I'm just a kid at heart that refuses to grow up, I guess. And, um... Oh, yeah, one more thing. Yeah, so... <laughs> So I had to uh, use a picture, an 8x12 photo I had of a GMC uh, school bus like this. But what I did is to do this Ford, I had to use uh, a 4x6 picture I had taken of a, a 77 Ford dump truck. And that's why this baby C is numbered 77. And by the way, for those of you who don't know me well enough, this is all freehand, eh? And yeah, I used the ruler here on the body to make it exact, but that's about it, as you can see. And everything is hand colored and a lot of times I'd hand color things more than once so you can get a better texture and uh, texture and uh, I lost my train of thought and, and just the color itself so it's just better it comes out nicer it doesn't look f like flat you see how like um, for example the sidewalk kind of looks and of course I threw myself in there somewhat yeah this little guy here if I could focus on that goddamn thing there we go. Looking back at that big, beautiful bus. There's a guy I hear on YouTube who, uh, he has a, actually a, he's from Quebec. I don't know where in Quebec. Maybe he's saying it's a day cab, but I'm not sure. And he, uh, he filmed one of these. The same bloody thing. The only thing I dropped the ball on there, on this drawing, well, I dropped the ball. I mean, they were always more painted. The, here in Canada, the school buses were always painted more of the orangey yellow. And this one I really made it more of like, you know, American school bus yellow. But, eh, whatever. I love it. You know, this is one of those things. It's like, you know, I don't sell it on the shit because this is, uh, you know, this is this is part of my past. This is who who I am and was, you know. 
well, was anyway. I think, geez, I mean, five years old, you know, 37. And, uh, yeah, and I just wanted to show that, you know, this is uh, not no cheapo paper, eh? Look at that heavy gauge, baby. Yeah. This is a big piece, as you can see. Some of my nice models to compare there, 118 scale, 125, 24. And, um, yeah, that's it. It's, um, yeah, I'd sell if the price is right, but <laughs> I ain't going to sell for, like, less than 250 So, uh, yeah, I mean... Again, like I said, I colored things twice or more to get the desired effect of the color. It's the planning, it's the idea, it's the way it's presented to you, you know. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. So I hope you liked it because it sure was a lot of fun, uh, you know, drawing this. And um, I'm glad to, to, to show you all. Peace out.